As the cleanup continues, Colorado Springs is defending its response to the latest winter storm. Yeah, Caradio News Channel 13, Scott Harrison joins us live on one of the many side streets in the city and city plows trying to clear those side streets. And Scott, people are asking why the city doesn't seem to do as well as other cities when it comes to snow removal. Yeah, that's a common question we've been hearing from everybody. Right now, I'm on West Castilla Street, and you can see how bad of shape this street is in. Definitely needs some clearing here. Now, the city today said what it has been saying all week since the storm, that it does the best it can with limited resources, and given we rarely get a foot of snow in one storm. But people are telling us that the response could have been and should have been better. Let's take you to video from earlier. Now, Colorado Springs has nearly 60 vehicles or plows that can be used for plowing. That compares with other high altitude cities like Albuquerque with about 50 trucks and Salt Lake City with 45. We checked with those departments today. Those cities, however, are larger than the Springs. We spoke with several people here about our snow response. Well, I'm from the East Coast. I moved here about 10 years ago, and I can say that uh, where we used to live, um, we got substantial snowfalls like this on a, on a more regular basis, and um, the streets were plowed and salted um, and were clear much more quickly than they are here. I don't think you guys prepare as well. It's like up where I'm from in Minnesota, the roads would all be plowed, side roads and everything. I got stuck coming here today. But there's mixed opinion about whether the city should invest in more plows to be ready for the occasional storm with a foot or more snow like we saw earlier this week. Now coming up at 5, we're going to see the city show us why some of the plowing, especially in neighborhoods like this one, is taking longer than people expect. We're live on the west side of Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.